Okay, so when you start CoffeeCube Image Mapper up, you'll find this. This is the Image Mapper wizard, and uh, you create a new image map. Or um, just zoom in there, open and exit an image map if you have one. But I haven't, so we, what we're going to do is um, we create a new image map. So we click Next. And this is uh, where the, you, you browse to where the image is that you want. Uh, I've got one in a fold called image map and it's this one here and this really is just uh, just do that and here it is and it's basically a menu um, it's just a mimic it's it's not really a web page but it's, it's all it is is an image but uh, so what we can do with this is um, with the home about links and contact which you get with quite a lot of sites is we just uh, we link them to the other pages or whatever so for example on this uh, this one the home page or what could be a home page is you usually would do that to index .html however I haven't got any, of, uh, any HTML pages up so what we're going to do with the home one is to go to Google so what we do here is we have up here under the design section we have a rectangle circle polygon and a selection arrow you can use all these ones but we're going to use the rectangle on this one um, and I'll just zoom back out there it's easy for me there so what we do is we've got them and we've got the points there okay and there we go and up here on the right we can have uh, names the url the alternative text the target the mouse over text which uh, goes on the status bar and the shape which is rectangle <coughs> uh, we give it a name this one's going to be google because uh, that's the page i'm going to uh, go to uh, the URL was http and google.co.uk and alternative text uh, could be a search engine or anything you wish uh, target I'm going to put same frame which is self uh, you can do whatever you want a mouse over text I use uh, google chrome as my browser so it doesn't have a status bar if you use any of the others in an explorer uh, well you can do that if you want so you can just put uh, uh, Google Google page and <clears throat> if we come down here this is where all the coordinates for that is that image the link home um, and so we go along there and what we can do now is we can just preview that <coughs> sorry about me throat um, so what we do with preview we can test it in the browser and and see if this works so this is the browser up and home and there we are it goes to google.co.uk which is my search engine um, and so we what we can do now is we'll go on to the about page so we'll go back to design and we'll do a rectangle again and just sort that out there and this here we could say well I want that to Yahoo and that's just a, an example so we back up here uh, up on the right hand side and we can put in a name again which uh, oops, there you go and that could we'll say Yahoo <coughs> and we'll say uh, HTTP uh, yahoo.co.uk alternative text you could say uh, um, SE for example target again I mean we can leave that blank and mouse over text we could just say uh, sports news or something like that and again rectangle so also, uh, as I said before, this is where all the coordinates of that go to. So what we can do is, uh, again, preview it. And we can preview it here. 
and we can preview it in the test browser once again. So we just knock that one up. And so we've already got home there, which would go to Google as I've shown. The about one goes to yahoo.com. Well, it's actually .uk .yahoo.com, which is where it goes to. And uh, I didn't know this one was on here, but uh, never mind. <laughs> um, and also, and we can go to the uh, links and we can do one for that one. We don't need, of course, to be doing it in rectangle, so we can um, we can go back to that um, and we can do it in a circle. Uh, when we're doing these in, in this uh, format with image maps, it doesn't really matter about circles. As long as people can link on or, or click on around about where the image, where you need it is. And, oops, got that one a bit wrong. So, um, and that is because nobody really sees uh, these I don't think that's going to work actually, but this is just for demonstration purposes only. And <clears throat> again, we'll uh, we'll put that up there. And this time, we'll uh, I'll I'll go to I'll go to my own website, I suppose. Uh, NB Designs. And uh, this one here, HTTP and NB Designs. Dot me dot uk. Alternative text could be uh, my site or whatever. Target and some frame. Mouse over uh, website. Uh, oops. And uh, yeah, so that's that's basically uh, what you do. So we'll just preview that one once again. Uh, test in browser. And we've already done the uh, the home, the about, and the links one, which is just go to my site there, and uh, and make sure they all work. Here, home, and that is of course Google, as I said, and this one will go to Yahoo, and uh, that is that's how the image map will work. So when you've uh, when you've finished with whatever, this is only a demonstration of the menu. Uh, you could do it with any pictures you want, whether it's uh, another good thing is, is something like maps themselves, you know, of different countries and that type of thing. If you if you wanted to put uh, a link to France and things like that or uh, America or wherever you want in the world uh, and things like that, that could be a good one or, or anything what you want to use the image map for. So what you do when you're finished, this becomes, um, you can save it. Uh, save map as or uh, it, that goes into its own HTML page but another way you could do it you might have uh, a bit oops get off um, your own web page where you want that image map to be so all you do there <coughs> excuse me um, is you just copy that the beginning of the client side map you just do that bit there and you just copy and then you paste into wherever you need. So that's uh, the basics of Image Mapper, and uh, I hope uh, anybody gets some help out of that. So thanks for listening.